wolf cut with a side part and a micro fringe or micro bangs. So in the comments, there's been a lot of people saying they want to see a wolf cut with a side fringe. They want to see a wolf cut with a shorter fringe. So today's your lucky day because what we're going to do now is we're going to create that. And then the next video is going to be another bang on trend haircut. We're going to go for a chin length bob with a micro fringe. Another massive trend for 2024. But the wolf cut isn't going anywhere with the kit with the kitty cut with the shag with the butterfly cut not going anywhere i can't see the wolf cut going anywhere either but we're looking for variants and this is going to be one of the biggest trending variants for 2024 so let's get into it so here we are all sectioned out and it is a side part so what i've done differently with the sectioning pattern let's just square up a little bit so section is still straight up in the middle of the head it's brought back slightly just to take into account the fringe but the sectioning is the same on both sides but it comes from the top of the ear and curves round to the crown reason for that so we we still take enough off this top to create the sort of heavy wolf cut sort of vibe i'm going to be taking off that so i'm not taking off loads to create loads and loads of heaviness because the heaviness is going to be given by that real hard fringe i still want there to be this length coming around the face like that so that's why i'm choosing to take off that amount but knowing that we're going to maintain all of that length same with this back that underneath doesn't reach and because they're both on top of the head i'm going to take off the same amount so there's a little bit of a connection there when that falls it's going to be nice and textured when this falls it's going to be really nice and textured but then we're going to put that sh that really short fringe in and it's just going to set this look off. So we're going to start with the back section today and we're going to be taking off just that in measurements around about one, two, one, two, three, three and a half inches is what I'm taking off straight up to the ceiling. Again, just point cutting. So in salon, if you were doing this haircut, what you would want to do is all of this hair is over directed to the middle and it's elevated up. So you would start from a middle point, middle section through that back, run down, take it straight up to the ceiling, like so, and be cutting that. And then you go your next section, bring it up, next section, bring it up, next section, bring it up, until you run out of hair and it doesn't reach, because that won't reach there. So that is how that back would be done in, in salon. Same with the front, bring it straight up to the ceiling. Let's take off three and a half inches again. So there, perfect. Point cut again just to create that softness. And again, how you would do this in salon, exactly the same. So that, that section there, you would take a middle section straight through there, and then all of these sections would then come up and they would all reach, but until you run out of hair, say like that, say you were trying to bring that up into it, it didn't reach, that's when you're out of sections. So I'm just going to go this way as well and just show you how I will soften it. So what's that? About two inches from my fingers. I'm just going to go really deep vertical into these sections or into the pony. But if we were talking sections in salon, this is exactly what I would do as well. I'd be working section by section and I'd just be point cutting into there to remove as much weight as, as I wanted or as the client wanted. So again, let's take this back section. Let's take this to the ceiling. And again, like we would, we would just get our sections, section by section, once the hair is dry. So you can see there, nice and soft. Now I would pull them out, but I'm gonna put the fringe in first. Just so when I pull it out, give it a shake, you're gonna see it instantly. So I'm gonna not use any tension with the comb. I'm just going to go straight in. So just come from here. And I do think a big trend for 2024 is going to be micro bangs. I think micro bangs are going to come back massively because everyone's been really soft, flowy. They can be soft. We can we can like we did on the last video, I'll link it up here. Make them wispy. But I think just going shorter with fringes, maybe longer in length. I'm just checking where that brow is, and I'm going to come up about an inch. And the thing is with mannequins, as soon as you put in these types of fringes, the hair stops playing ball. Being too bad, actually. 
normally cut it and it goes bing. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to come around here and then just finish off. And I'm going to leave it very, very blunt. We'll leave it at that for now. I don't want to stop off too much. But just so you can see a nice, strong micro fringe. Big trend 2024. Let's take these ponytails out now. Let's give it a shake. It's a soft shake. What are we saying? I really, really like it. I love micro fringes as is, but I just love that sort of weightiness that you get with the wolf cuts, the, the, the sort of texture you get around that face. And obviously it's disconnected because the fringe would normally be like this. That would add the weight. The micro fringe has taken out that weight, that heaviness from the front, but you've still got all of this beautiful texture. And it's a side part something you don't see too often when it comes to wolf cuts because of the balance but you can see balances perfectly through there i think it adds a little bit more like a grungier sort of vibe to it as well here you go you can see that the short layers that are working around the face it's a side parting but they balance completely really rock and roll Maybe a little bit too much there. I did like it when like this. Obviously, I'm not using any product in it because I'm going to jump straight into the next haircut, which is the bob. I just wanted to show you something for the wolf cut. It was a it was a request from somebody in the comments. I'll try and find it and pop it in here. I hope that's helped. So a wolf cut with micro bangs or micro fringe, whatever you call it, and a side parting. If you, wanted to, if you wanted to go back to the centre parting, because it's balanced there, it won't make any difference, apart from look a little bit sort of heavier. And the reason it doesn't make any difference is because the parting isn't too too far away from the middle. If you were working on parting, say, here and here on the, on the curvature of the head, then, yeah, you would have to section out differently. But because we moved it an inch either way, you can still get away with it. There we go. A wolf cut. Oops, you can't see. A wolf cut with micro banks. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you did. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. Click that join button, have a little look at what I've got on offer, and come and join the community. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.